Iowa parents are grappling with an unsettling reality, the surge of school threats. Whether credible or not, every tip forces law enforcement and schools to respond as though the danger is real. Tonight, Iowa's News Now investigative reporter Nick L. Hodge takes a look at the toll this is taking on students, parents and communities and the heavy cost it's placing on law enforcement and taxpayers in this special report. Nobody ever thinks it's going to happen to you until it actually happens. It scares me every time just because it could always be that 10 percent that where it is a credible threat. My children are my world. Being a mom, it scares you like my heart is beating right now. It's a scenario parents across Iowa are increasingly having to deal with. Credible or not, threats have become disturbingly common, with law enforcement and schools forced to react as though the danger is real every time. We're in a very difficult position, right, because we see across this country mass shootings and we need to treat every threat credible until we determine that it is not. Fueled by social media and sometimes generated by AI, the complexity of these threats is growing and so is the challenge for law enforcement agencies. They've even gone so far as to make automated voices, automated sounds of uh, weapons being fired. So they come in as real and a big deal and that's the hard part is we have to treat everything like it's real. For schools, disruption to the learning environment can be overwhelming. Breaks up the normal routine of the day and then People's minds are more on whether there's really a threat or whether we're okay to be, just have a normal day of school. With fear lingering in classrooms long after the threat has passed. Everyone has a need to feel safe and anything that jeopardizes that then starts to get in the way of learning at school. While officials say many threats are made in anger or as jokes, the consequences can be severe. It can get to the point where it can come to criminal charges, but if it ends up being something like terroristic threats, that's a felony. A felony is a felony, and that's, that is a big deal. Just over a month into the new school year, more than 100 tips have flooded into Iowa's Safe and Sound app, and 16 arrests have been reported to Iowa's public safety. One report estimates school threats have cost U.S. taxpayers more than a billion dollars just in the last two years. And in Iowa, more than 200 school threats last school year impacted more than 100,000 students, costing Iowa taxpayers more than $7.5 million. This is a form of terrorism. You don't want to be lulled into that false sense of security because the next time it may not. We pour a lot of resources, it costs a lot of money for these investigations, but it's something that we have to do and we have to do it well because the costs are too great if we don't. The other issue officials say is how to prosecute when it's minors making the threats. What are we going to do with 13 year olds? I don't know that we can just take a 13 year old and throw them away. When a student is acting out like this, there's something going on. It's a, it's a behavior. There's something going on. I, I haven't met a student yet that they want to do something bad. And there's also a human cost, an emotional toll that stays with communities, with kids as young as kindergarten learning lockdown drills in case of an active shooter. They know fire drill, I'm going to do this. Tornado drill, I'm going to do this. An active shooter drill or armed intruder drill, we're going to do this. It's unfortunate that we have to plan for that, but it's the world we live in. I wish we could say this is a safe community, that's a safe community, that city over there is a safe community, this is never going to happen. Unfortunately, Perry, Iowa happened. Despite the disruptions, law enforcement and schools urge vigilance. If you see something, say something. Pay attention to what your kids are doing. They're going to be the first and best defense against what your kids are seeing online. I would rather get 99 reports that end up being nothing than miss that one out of 100 that ends up being something. For now, schools and law enforcement continue to face a complex landscape where even false threats can have serious consequences. Despite the costs, officials say it's always better to be safe than sorry. In Studio Nickel Hush, Iowa's News Now. Governor Ken Reynolds says Iowa's Department of Public Safety Director is keeping her in the loop with what's going on with threats in Iowa schools. She says they're encouraged by the number of tips they've been receiving because it means the safe and sound anonymous threat reporting system is working and they want Iowans to know it's there for them to report any potential school threats. Getting on the front side is the best way to do it. I mean, you can have resource officers, you can have a really quick response time, but seconds really matter in these situations. They're meeting and talking about some of the other things that they need to look, like, look at from the legislation that was passed last year. So hopefully we'll get some, uh, we'll get some data, uh, concrete data, when they do that report out to the legislature in, I think it's December. 